I'm Eddie Francis, and this is Lectures to Livelihood. So, you graduated from college, what? A couple of months ago, a few months ago, a year, two, three years. And right now, you are in the workforce. You are making, what, 40, 50, 70,000? No, uh, that, that's not you. Oh, you're a recent college graduate. You are making about something an hour. Instead of making it rain like you thought you would, it's more like a 10% chance of light showers. Make it drizzle on them, player. Make it drizzle on them. Okay, if this is you, you are not alone. There are a lot of recent college graduates across the country just like you. And you know what? Actually, this was pretty much my story coming out of college. Success is a process. And this is a new beginning for you. Consider yourself a freshman in the University of Careers. There's an interesting piece that was written on Levo.com. Three questions to ask yourself before accepting a low paying job. The first question that Levo suggests you ask is, what kind of experience will you get? Now, they use as an example, a young journalist. Even though it's a low paying journalism job, in order to get a higher paying journalism job, the blog points out, you need writing samples. And so this is your opportunity to get those writing samples. The second question that they suggest you ask yourself is, are you passionate about the company's mission? We spend most of our time at work. Since that's the case, figure out how fulfilling that job just may be professionally and emotionally. Now I do have two thoughts that I want to add to these great points that Levo made. But the third question, could this lead to a better opportunity? Ask about the room for growth or ask what the career path could be for the position that you'll be taking. Here are my two quick thoughts. My uh, eh? thinking like a leader adds value. Even though you're in a low paying job right now, Observe your leadership. Take a look at your supervisor, your manager, the president, the, the CEO, and ask yourself, what do I like about their leadership styles? What don't I like about their leadership styles? What works about their leadership styles? And the second thought is from my entrepreneurs. I have not forgotten about you because I know that you were sitting at graduation thinking to yourself, <laughs> I don't want to work for anybody. Oh, by the way, see, that's me at my college graduation. Man, I was hung over like a mother. Figure out how a business runs from the inside. Talk to everybody, accounting, human resources, even the administrative assistants. If I were to go back and change anything about the way I spent my first few years in the workforce out of college, there are three things that I would have done. I would have created a plan, with timelines, I would have learned how to negotiate salaries. I would have had more of a positive mental attitude. So yeah, it's a low paying job right now. Even more importantly, it's a stepping stone. So get to step in so you can figure out how to make it 100% chance of rain with thunderstorms. I don't have any cash on me, sorry.